Yung next question natin is to find the location of the maximum deflection. Now, this is difficult kung hindi mo pa alam yung concept. So, let's try to recall yung concept sa maximum deflection. Now, alam natin kung simply supported beams, yung slope at the location of the maximum deflection is zero. So, doon sa double integration, nasolve na natin yung maximum deflection, which is at 2.876 meters. However, hindi pa natin alam kung ano yung maximum deflection dito. And so, yung problem natin, is paano natin ito makukuha. I believe you would agree na yung slope dito is a horizontal line. Kasi yan yung location ng maximum deflection. And so let's just erase this one. Kasi hindi na natin kailangan yan. What we need to do is to draw a tangent line dito sa point A. Now I'll explain that later. Let's draw a tangent line dito. Let's just move this one. And extend natin to dito. Now, ano yung distance na to? That's simply the deviation from B with respect to the tangent at A. Let's just label this one, tangent at A. Again, deviation from B with respect to the tangent at A. Now, we are doing this para makuha yung slope na to. Now, let's just label this as point D, yung location ng maximum deflection. Now, I believe you would agree na if we extend this line, ito na yung magiging slope between the two tangents, tangent at D and the tangent at A. Ito yung change in slope between the two tangents. So ito yung slope of D with respect to the tangent at A. And now, perhaps you would also agree na itong angles na to are equal. Because that's with respect to the horizontal. Because this line is horizontal and this line is also horizontal. So equal yung dalawang angles na yan. Now sir, paano natin kukunin yung slope na to? Yung slope na naka-orange, that's simply TBA divided by 6. Or simply rise over Run. Now sir, bakit hindi tayo gumagamit ng arctan? Di ba we are looking for the angle? Yung reason dyan is because yung rotations ng beams natin are very small. And we know na yung arctan ng very small angles would just be equal to itself. And so that's why we are only using rise over run or opposite over adjacent. And then yung slope of D with respect to the tangent at A would be equal to this area, this one. Let's project a line from D. The slope from D with respect to A is simply this area. Now, let's label this as X. Now, we need to make an equation for this area. Now, meron tayong shortcut para dyan. We know na yung area ng triangle is 1 half times base na X times itong height na Y. And then, itong spandrel sa baba, meron din yung height. Let's just label this Y triangle and ito Y spandrel or YSP na lang. Now, yung Y in terms of X is ito yung shortcut. y equals h over b to the n multiplied by x to the n. Now, itong height is yung height ng buong figure mo. So, yung height ng triangle na to is itong 810 over ei. And then, yung base ng triangle is itong base na 6. So, again, let's form an equation for the triangle. Magiging 1 half times base times height na y. Now, yung y natin, papalitan natin in terms of x. So, itong y natin magiging h over b to the n, yung h is 810, over yung base is 6. To the n, yung n natin for this one is 1. So, hindi nila natin isusulat. And then, x, kasi x to, to the power of n, which is still 1. So, ito na yung y natin in terms of x. So, papalitan natin to. Ito na yung equation for the area of the triangle in terms of x. Now, meron pa tayong spandrel, which is nandito na sa baba. And so, yung area natin dyan is minus na. And then, yung equation natin para dito is 1 third kasi 1 over n plus 1, yung n natin is 2 na. And then, times base na x times height na y. Again, yung y dito is yung y ng spandrel. And so, let's convert y in terms of x. Again, using this shortcut, yung h natin is itong 900 kasi yan yung height ng spandrel. So, magiging 900 over Yung base natin is itong 6 meters. And then to the power of n. Yung n natin is 2 degrees. And so this will be 2. Multiplied by x to the n. Again, yung n natin is 2. And so ito na yung equation natin for y in terms of x. Para dito sa spandrel. So papalitan na natin to. And so now meron na tayong equation para sa slope ng d with respect to a. Now we will equate that dito sa TBA over 6. Kasi again, itong dalawang angles na to are equal. Now, let's compute for TBA. Now sir, saan tayo magmo-moment? Dito tayo magmo-moment sa B. Kasi ito yung first letter. So let's try to compute for TBA. The deviation of B with respect to the tangent at A. Now, our two points are B and A. 
So, ito lang yung areas na i-consider natin. Now, yung area ng triangle is 1 half times base times height. So, 1 half times base na 6 meters times height na 810 over EI. Multiplied by the moment arm patungo dito sa B. And so, that will be 1 third ng 6. And then, minus yung area nito. Multiplied by the moment arm na 1 fourth ng 6. So, 1 third times base times height na 900 over EI multiplied by 1 fourth of 6. So, ito na yung TBA natin. Which is equal to 2160. Again, KNM cubed to divided by EI. And so, let's equate these. Now, let's just change this one. Again, ito yung TBA. And so, equate natin tong dalawa. Now, again, hindi magmamatter kung yung labeling mo is D from A or A from D. Because yung angle na to is just equal to this angle. Magmamatter lang yung labeling dito sa deviation. Again, equate natin to. Yung orange na slope is ito. Now, you can omit the units. Or you can use shift solve sa calculator directly. And then, that's equal to itong expression na to. And so, now, we can solve for X. Press shift solve, and then let's input a value of x na realistic. Yung value of x natin is within dito. And so let's input half ng 6, which is 3 meters. So ito na yung answer natin. And notice na the same lang to sa na-compute natin using double integration. And so yung location ng maximum diffraction natin is at x equals 2.876 meters. Now let's just store this one dito sa a para we can use the exact value. Again, just remember this shortcut. Now sir, paano namin isusolve yung maximum deflection? Ito yung gagawin mo. Notice na itong distance na to is the deviation from D with respect to the tangent at A. Now what we are interested in is itong distance na to. Yan. Kasi ito yung maximum deflection. Let's just label this as YD. Now, as you can notice, mayroon tayong triangles na form. Itong triangle na to, saka itong big triangle. And so, let's just redraw that dito. Again, this is 6 meters. And then, ito yung TBA for the big triangle. And then, dito, let's redraw the elastic curve. Magiging ganyan. Again, we are interested in this distance, which is YD. And then, itong distance na to is the deviation from D with respect to the tangent at A. And so, we can relate the two triangles. It will become YD plus TDA is to Itong distance na to. Now, na-compute na natin yan. It's 2.876 meters. So, YD plus TDA is to 2.876 equals itong whole triangle na to. TBA is to 6 meters. And so, ito na yung equation natin. Again, nakuha na natin yung TBA. Ito yung value dyan, 2160. And so, let's change this one. Lalagay ko na lang dito. TBA is 2160 over 6. Yung YD is yung ano natin. And so, let's compute for TDA. Now, sir, paano yan? Ito yung area na i-consider natin. Or let's just simply use this one, yung equation sa slope natin, and then let's just add moment arms. Kasi ito yung areas nito. And so, let's just add moment arms. Yung moment arm ng triangle is x over 3. This is simply b over n plus 2. And so, let's also multiply this one by b over n plus 2. Again, yung base natin is itong x. Kasi ito na yung equation in terms of x. So, this will be x over yung n dito sa spandrel is 2. So, 2 plus 2 magiging 4. Again, ito yung TDA natin. Now, yung x value natin is itong 2.876. Kasi yan yung location ng maximum deflection. Again, yung x value na store ko sa a. So, gagamitin ko na lang to. 1 half Yung lahat ng x dito, papalitan ko ng a. And so, ito na yung value for TDA. KNM cubed over EI. And so, substitute ko yan dito. And so, pwede ko nang i-compute yung yd. I'll just store this sa b. So, magiging x plus TDA na nandito sa b over itong 2.876 nakastore dito sa A. And that's equal to 2160 over 6. And so, masasolve ko na yung YD which is equal to 642.65. The same lang sa double integration. Now, sir, how about itong last question? Itong slope at the rotor support. Paano namin isosolve yan? It's ideal to draw a tangent line dito sa B. 
And let's project a line dito. Now, yung slope sa roller support is itong angle na to. Now, this distance is the deviation from A with respect to the tangent at B. Kasi ito yung tangent at B. Now, we have already solved this one doon sa previous video. And so, yung rotation na to is just equal to rise over run. Ito yung rise divided by 6 meters. So, yung TAB natin is 1620. And so, let's just label this one as the slope at B or at the roller support dito. So, yung slope at B is equal to 1620 KNM cubed divided by 6 meters, which is 270. The same lang dito. And so now, it's up to you kung ano yung mas convenient na method, whether double integration or area moment. 